You can't shoot me. You can't tase me. You can't gas me. You can't even knock me down. Not without something very fragile and very precious going squish. Baby shields, are they tactically viable? Stick around and find out. This whole video revolves around protecting your shields, I, I mean, your your babies. So you know what I would use to protect my babies? Simply Safe. Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe. Simply Safe protects your home like a pro with 24-7 professional monitoring with three and a half times faster police dispatch. Simply Safe specialists can notify police if an intruder is in the house, if they are armed, and what they are doing, which results in up to three and a half times faster dispatch and more crimes stopped. Simply Safe is modern comprehensive, which means they protect protect your entire home inside and out. Outside, they have video doorbells, HD cameras, smart locks, and entry sensors. Inside, they have a layer of motion and glass brake sensors plus privacy protecting cameras. The system will still work if you lose power, Wi-Fi, or the system is attacked. They can also protect your home from fire, water damage, carbon monoxide, and more. Experts choose Simply Safe. PC Mag named it their editor's choice. CNET says it's reliable, comprehensive coverage and an outstanding value. They have fair and honest prices starting at 50 cents a day with no contract. I currently use motion sensors, entry sensors, glass brake sensors, pretty much every sensor that they have, because no one's going to get in my house without me knowing. They just came out with a Simply Safe lock that makes your home more secure by ensuring it's always locked. It automatically locks on a timer as well as when you arm the system. It keeps track of who comes and goes so you can see who locks or unlocks your door. You can also set unique access codes so you know exactly who is locking and unlocking the door. It allows you to grant access from anywhere to guests and visitors. You can lock and unlock your home remotely from anywhere in the world. Right now, Simply Safe is having their biggest sell of the year. Protect your home and family this holiday season with Simply Safe, but hurry, the offer ends Cyber Monday. Click simplysafe.com slash stoned operator in the description below to learn more. I made a video about two years ago that has since been taken down. It was in response to an off-duty police officer in Brazil holding his baby while participating in shooty shoots with bad guys. I'm not going to play the video right now because YouTube's kind of touchy about it, but while holding a baby, he sent two robbers to the afterlife. This was the intro to that video. Don't you hate it when regular cover and concealment doesn't work? When a regular old breaching shield isn't doing the job? From the company that brought you the baby flask, introducing the newest tactical high-speed accessory right out of Brazil, the Tactical Baby Shield. The Tactical Baby Shield goes great with chainsaw bayonets. All of the tier one guys are doing it, so why shouldn't you? Baby shields have actually been used in real life. We just saw an off-duty police officer in Brazil using one. You guys ever notice like every other shooting on live leak is from an off-duty police officer in Brazil? Is like half the country off-duty police officers? What about other incidents involving baby shields? In Tulsa, Oklahoma in October of 2016, a guy broke into his estranged wife's house and took a two-year-old hostage. He walked out onto the balcony of the home holding the baby and a Tulsa SWAT sniper put a 308 round into his face. <laughs> What about the most recent baby shield video called on camera? In this video, I'm going to show you how to craft and use shields. Put your hands on top of your head. June of 2019, police were called to a domestic violence incident. The suspect didn't want to put his shield down, so he was tased three times. He fell over into a pile of clothes, then the shield was taken without further incident. Stop the goddamn kid! Stop touching me! Obviously, when you only have one shield, it's not tactically viable. But what about 12 shields on one person? This picture is actually from a comic book series called Irredeemable. The first comic came out in 2009. It's centered around a Superman-like hero named Plutonian. One day, he just ups and decides he wants to start slaughtering every human on Earth. After seeing this picture floating around the internet for the past few years, I decided to go ahead and order the series. I gotta say, it's pretty good and super gnarly. Definitely not a comic that you should give to your children. A few months ago, I just happened to come across this picture again. I laughed heartily because my sense of humor is straight whackers. I jokingly posted it on Facebook asking people what they would do in this situation if they were the police officers. That question was followed up by some rather dark but hilarious answers. Hand him an order for child support. Leave him. He will lose his mind and surrender within an hour. Stand off until all the babies soil themselves. Like Keanu Reeves in Speed. Shoot the hostage. Eh, that could work. I mean, what if they have rabies? Baby rabies. <laughs> 
unleash the mothers of those children on him. They would tear him to pieces, but the babies would be completely unharmed. Call in the Spetsnaz. Oh, I think what Michael's getting to here is the Moscow Theater hostage crisis. This was the incident where 40 to 50 armed dudes took approximately 850 hostages. They planted bombs everywhere and set up the perfect place where the cool guys would have to storm a 100 foot long corridor and then storm a staircase, which by at that point, all the bombs would have been set off, killing everyone in the building, including all 850 hostages. What the Russians decided to do was pump fentanyl gas into the entire building, basically giving everyone a heroin overdose. When everyone was passed out, Spetsnaz went in and killed all the terrorists. That's awesome! except for over 200 hostages ended up dying. From what I've read though, the fault in that comes from people passing out in awkward positions and suffocating. Also, the rescue workers were placing people on their backs, which caused them to suffocate. And also, there weren't enough ambulances to evacuate all the people. I like where Michael's head is at on this one, but I don't think babies are very resilient to heroin gas. Figure out which baby is from Florida. One loss is acceptable. Obviously, that new Fort Worth Bolo thing would work, but we should work on banning a salt baby shields first. That might seem like a good idea on paper, but once you've been shot with one, your mind might change a little bit. <laughs> The Bolo is fired at a high rate of speed by a blank 38 pistol round. If it was to hit a spot like here or here, we do have a restrained criminal, but we also got strangled babies. We're making progress here though, I think. Spicy boy to the face. And then the world went orange. <laughs> Ah, so spray him with a giant can of that orange pepper spray that they use on protesters. If you use it in this situation though, now you got a blind guy with a gun thrashing around wildly with 12 babies strapped to him who are also now pepper sprayed. Big brain move, but not what we're looking for. Let's head on over to somewhere else where all the professionals are. I asked the same question over on the best police subreddit on Reddit, protect and serve. This is the place I go for calm, rational discussions of police issues. Judge dread everything. The babies are accomplices and refusing to comply. Everyone goes in the ISO cubes. Team positioned above him, drop a noose around his neck and then cinching it down and hanging him. Wait for him to stop moving and yelling. Remove babies. Problem solved. Activate vats and put every point in the head region. Step one, drink a bang. Step two, shoot him and the babies with a long range acoustic device. Step three, the babies are unable to control themselves once hit by the brown note and promptly do that poop your diaper up and out the back thing. Step four, the villain now covered in stinky baby poop will shed the babies in an attempt to stay clean. Step five, arrest. Step six, celebrate with another bang. Kill Kill the hostages. We don't negotiate with terrorists. In Russia, they'd gas and shoot. There seemed to be a lot of people mentioning the whole heroin gas thing followed by head canoeing. No survivors. Jeez, man. Somebody didn't have their unicorn cotton candy bang this morning. Catch him with a net. Chloroform him. Remove baby shields. Sell baby shields to foreign entities. Profit. Dude, we're going straight from communism to capitalism in this thread. Babies are surprisingly resilient, so the only solution is to shoot the hostage. Shoot the hostage. They have a point. Hear me out. Babies aren't as fragile as we think. They can be dropped most of the time without complications. Ask my son. It's well known on my shift that I don't like kids, so they'd probably send me in. Shoot in face, catch as best as can. Save as many babies as you can. This is textbook greater danger theory. I forgot what greater danger theory was, so I had to look it up. When greater danger theory applies, firearms shall not be discharged nor other deadly force used when it appears likely that an innocent person might be injured. Unless the probability exists that a greater danger is posed by the suspect's continued actions toward the officer or other person. Yeah, that would be textbook greater danger theory. What's what's the greater danger? Shooting the suspect or allowing the suspect to live to do more damage? Hmm. Boom! Headshot. I see a viable headshot. Have a team on standby to rush in and remove the babies as soon as he falls. A few might be hurt, but they'll probably survive without lasting injuries. As they appear to be attached to him, shoot in the head and try and catch body before back baby squash. Can you guys say that three times fast? Try and catch body before back baby squash. Try and catch body before back baby squash. Could be on to something with this headshot idea. Might have to ask more professionals. Let's stop right there for a moment. You may be asking me, what does this have to do with law enforcement? Oh ye of little criminal ingenuity fate. While researching this video, I came across this comment on Facebook. Dude, back in the day working newborn nursery as an RN, we had exactly this setup. A giant bodysuit with four pouches front and back with two high on the thigh as well for fire evacuation. Fire drills were always a hoot. 
Well, hellfire, this video started out as a joke, but it looks like this is an entirely possible scenario. So how could a criminal get his hands on one of these? I fired up the old Google box and began searching. The emergency baby carrier didn't find very much. Some tactical baby carrier stuff like that. Here's one where a kid can stand on your back. Wait, what's this right here? The Angelina Jolie hands-free multiple child carrier. Looks sleek and stylish as you travel the globe in search of exotic orphans. <laughs> your kids are safely secured while your hands are free to scoop up the next orphan to catch your eye. <laughs> ah, this one's kind of close to what we're looking for. But that's only four shields. We need to find one that fits more shields. Emergency evacuation baby apron yielded a few more results. What in the silent hill is this shit? Gas mask for babies tested in English hospital, 1940. I know Silent Hill and Bioshock have the nurses running around, but can you imagine them throwing these little demon babies at you with deep dive helmets on, chasing you and screaming and never having to take a breath? Oh, looks like they made a sled, but that's no fun, unless you're one of the six babies it holds and someone pushes you down a snowy hill. In another very old snippet from a newspaper, I saw exactly what one would need. You know what this means, right? This scenario is entirely possible, but we need to ask more experts. First up, we're going to talk to my brother-in-law, former Marine Special Agent, hostage negotiator, police sergeant, and explosives expert who blows up things for fun. Looking at the picture, obviously you can see his head. Babies are bendy. They're pretty durable. Their bones are pliable. You know, I say put one right through his nasal cavity or his T-box and let him fall and just get somebody in there to get him off of him before he suffocates one of the kids. Use your negotiator to talk him into a scope that's near a fluffy pillow, I guess. What about my friend Doug from SoFleet, who spent 14 years with Army Special Forces? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Nail bat. Like a bat with a nail on it? Yeah, with lots of nails on it. He's just... got a gun in his hand, though. No, it's cool, dude. He's so distracted. It's in a small room. I'm just gonna take a swing for the top knot with, uh, with a nail bat. Did you ever see the movie Belly? So if there's a skylight, I'm assuming that I'm gonna come in this like a Jamaican ninja, break the skylight, stab him in the neck. <laughs> What would Matt Best do in this situation? <laughs> okay. What would I do in this situation? More importantly, I would ask how he got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 12 babies on it. If anything, if you could get a good shot, you put an entry team on the closest door, you shoot him right in the hand so he can't get his gun up, and then you immediately assault him. You know what? This entire situation is just like one of my favorite scenes from the 2017 movie Kong. Spoiler alert. There's no tactical precedence. We did the best we could in the situation. Before this video was created, there was no tactical precedent for this situation. But now, you're welcome, law enforcement. There are ways to handle this situation. That is, of course, until the criminal element finds out about Baby Armor 2.0. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out DonutOperator.com for some super sweet merch. Till next time, everyone. Please have a fantastic day.